Good morning, my fellow friends. I'm Pericles here uh, in Athens from the goodhappiness.com and uh, it's Christmas time, so I wish you Merry Christmas and uh, joy in your life. Uh, here I am in my early uh, day walk in this uh, very famous, uh, I suppose, uh, park in the northern area of Athens, as you can see here in this uh, very nice park. I've made a couple of videos in here. It's a nice day, it's about, uh, it's a nice morning, about uh, 9 o'clock, I suppose. And uh, the, the nature is in, uh, at its best. So I want to speak to you about uh, the correct uh, uh, drying process about uh, for your uh, uh, wood pieces, logs, branches or whatever you have <coughs> and what you can do to make it um, correct your process your drying uh, uh, and not having cracks so as you may see this guy, I have a very nice uh, popular uh, log uh, in here I, have, I think uh, this popular log uh, it is in uh, my first video I first uh, I think in my YouTube, uh, YouTube channel. So, when you have a piece of a wood, a log in here, and you want to storage it to make the <coughs> the drying process uh, as nicer as you can do, you have uh, two themes. You have this area in here, which it has the peel of the tree, and this area, uh, which the chainsaw cut it and uh, you have your uh, your log so in here from here the the moisture and the water and the fluids of the <coughs> of the log comes out uh, slow as slowly as it, it, it should be but in this area we don't have peel or something to to cover to cover it so uh, the water comes out faster than it should be and you should uh, balance this, these two areas this and this so what you can do you can just commonly paint, paint this area with common uh, paint you have in your house as you may see whatever color whatever you have the professionals uh, use uh, linseed oil I think and something like that but uh, it isn't necessary to do so. So, uh, if you cover it with paint, all the area, all the surface in here, you balancing, you balancing the the moisture and the of the two these two areas. So you don't have cracks as this log have so many bad cracks in here. You see, in its core, look how badly this has dried out. Even if it's a new cutted log, a month or so, I suppose, this, here, this area in here has very big air flows. It's in the northern area of Athens. And uh, if you put out a, a wood piece, uh, the air flow, the very high air flow, makes it dry very, very fast. And this is not correct. The drying process is a very slowly, slow process. So if you do this uh, very simple and uh, common and easy and smart uh, trick, just paint, just paint the surface you want to make the drying uh, slower than it should be. Uh, this, uh, after that, of course, you should uh, storage your wood, cover it with a, with something you have in your house, your warehouse, and uh, of course you always should inspect it. I suppose once a week is a nice uh, time period to inspect your uh, your drying process but I suppose if you are uh, in a good place with no sun, uh, direct sun of course we never put uh, our, our logs, our uh, wood pieces directly in the sun uh, you don't have any problems and uh, the drying process would be uh, correct and a uh, nice one anyway I hope this helps it's very simple, it's very easy to do so. Anybody can uh, uh, paint a small surface. And um, I hope this helped. 
to drive your wood the, the best way you can to show. Anyway, Pericles from goodhappiness.com, over and out. See you again, my friends.